Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. I may have a secret for you, for the right exchange. Ask me what you will. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? Sanjar's not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. Indeed, the information I gather usually is, or it's not worth my time investment, as you can imagine. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat-drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. You mean between MSI, the Iconoclast, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra-1 and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. Even then I plied my trade as an information broker, albeit in a smaller capacity. Of course I demanded an exchange for the data. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally... gray. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of... In how low you seemingly regard my trade. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Come on, do you really want to get invested in the details? We finished the job. Hmm, is that so? Oh, I believe it will, but the price I pay won't be to you. No, we've a bigger deal to settle. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes, I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However... You're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. 
It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that?
Why do people make such a big thing out of hiking? Once you're up, you just gotta go down again. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over.
Never see us.
on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Me too. You know corpses shit themselves, right? Enjoy the smell. on this gunship and I'd like to let the record show that our captain is a total fucking hullhead. I told him again and again that without fixing our regulators, many engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up, because I'm doing it as hard as I can. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Tell me that, Dad, he told me. Did you let that boy push you around? So I hit him with the wrench, right? Ooh, Dad was mad. <laughs> Guess he wanted me to use my words. 
Not that I've ever been good with those. Proud of me for a week. You want no secret, Sam? It was worth it. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Oh, did something break? I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask June Lay to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close to my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. That nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys? She seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy soap. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading for Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know because I want to come with. Scanning for C-2-5-4-7. Grade-rated contaminants. <laughs> 